Hi, this is Tony Bearer. Well, today I went down to Venice Beach with a cleanup. The, uh, I guess the uh, sanitation bureau, uh, guarded by LAPD along with Park and Rec. And what I saw today was compassion. I want to thank Mike Bonham, Councilman Mike Bonham, because they have a new policy. They actually take photographs of the property they're taking and tag it with a number. And uh, I talked to the police, I talked to uh, the sanitation people, they do have a new policy. In this video, you'll see them taking pictures and uh, tagging the property. I even seen compassion today. I saw a, uh, a woman that the cops wanted to clean up the bathroom area. She didn't want to go. They could have, they, at first they called a 415, a, a uh, woman out of control. But yet they called off the 415. And the woman wanted cigarettes to move. So the cops gave the woman cigarettes to move. They never do that. And the woman still didn't want to move. But the cops basically left her alone and she moved on later on. And then I saw a, a, a woman that was uh, with a dog, distressed, and she lost, she left all her ID and everything. Cops tried to give it back to her. She didn't want it. They, I mean, the cops today showed a lot of compassion. Even the, uh, uh, the sanitation bureau, uh, they actually apologized to me, you know. They're just trying to do a job out there. And I'm not trying to uh, stop them for what they're doing. You know, I'm not trying to be a superhero. You have to clean the boardwalk. They even like walked down the boardwalk before the truck got there and tried to warn the people to take this stuff away. A lot of folks were down there doing drugs and uh, alcohol and don't care about their belongings. You know, I'm not I'm not with that. I say keep a clean boardwalk, but do it the right way. If there's something's available there, tag it, uh, photograph, take it downtown, Give them nine days to pick it up. But today, they basically walked down the boardwalk. They warned everybody. And uh, there was a lot of trash out there. So I'm with cleaning the boardwalk up. I'm with all that. I just don't like people's stuff being stolen. That kind of crap. But uh, Mike Bonner has a new policy in. And, and they, I saw it today. And today was a lot of compassion. And I want to uh, apologize to one officer. In the morning, I, I came off as, as an asshole. I was like very defensive. I didn't, I didn't know this cop, and uh, this cop had a good heart. And I was like, I apologize to him, because I don't want to come off as an asshole. I'm not there to discredit LAPD. I'm not there to discredit anybody. All I want is for people's stuff to be safe, tagged, but they're not there. And as a homeless person, you know, they give you plenty of warning to move your stuff. So like, move your stuff. You know, you have plenty of warning to move your stuff. You know, and, and at the end of the video, once they're finished, the homeless move their stuff back in the position. So, I don't know what the answer is, you know. I think I'm done every Friday going down there. If I get a phone call, if they're not doing the right thing, I'll be back. But today I saw a lot of love and compassion for the homeless people on the boardwalk. I saw it. I saw how the cops handled things. I saw how uh, the sanitation bureau handled things today. There was compassion. Uh, I, I know Mike Bottom had a lot to do with that, but the, the new policies, I, I feel they're gonna work out. But if you're homeless, you know, they can be putting your warning to move your stuff. Uh, Try to keep the boardwalk clean because it makes the residents happy who live there and pay that big rent. But they're the ones that are complaining about you guys. It's the, it's the residents, you know. They get the city to do something and the city has to do something. Uh, it's a big tourist big tourist spot. They want to keep it clean for the residents. So listen, just do that. And if you hear anything that, that's going down shady, I'll be back there uh, again, you know. But what I saw today was a lot of compassion by LAPD and the... Uh, Sanitation Bureau and Parking Bank, a lot of compassion. And uh, here's the video. I'm back every, I'm back every Friday, my friend. I'm back every Friday. This is going to the city council and the lawyers. You guys are about ready to get sued. You're violating their First Amendment rights, illegal seizures.
Yeah, we did. Alright, we'll just wait for you. Yeah, it's okay. No, I know. We, we gotta catch up with you guys. Huh? They just canceled the uh, supervisor's yeah. request. This came out of the scan, it is it is canceled the 415 uh woman request, the supervisor. Alright, hey uh I'll be I'll be right back and go around the side. Ma'am, I told you. I think I'm not gonna hurt you. I think I'm not gonna hurt you, just give it to me. Ma'am, I'm not afraid of you. The fact that I'm begging like this, it's just not Ma'am, I'm not gonna give you cigarettes. This is a trade-off. Okay? We're here compromising. So I got you the cigarettes. You said you would move them. I got you cigarettes. I got you the cigarettes. Can you please move for me now? You said you would move them if I got you cigarettes. No, I'm not going to give them to you. Okay, once once you're at the boardwalk, okay, you can have all these cigarettes. All right? Come on. No, it doesn't work that way. Okay, well, all right. He, are you going to move when I put the cigarette in your hand? Here. I there you go. All of, all of the no, you don't. Now no, you, you get one. Let's go. Let's go. Now you're playing my game. Someone give me a knife. You, you should have put all the cigarettes in my hand. No, I, no, I shouldn't even now needed to get you one. one. You should have moved anyway. Okay. Are you moving? Are you moving? It looks like they're taking pictures now. Maybe the policies are kicking in. It looks like they're writing stuff down, so maybe they're gonna tag the stuff, take pictures of it, store it downtown, and give the people 90 days to come pick it up. Maybe they're really going to do it this time and get it still in their belongings. Mike Bon Councilman Mike Bonham promised me that he would have a new policy change. And let's hopefully hopefully it works. They're taking pictures of the, uh, the property they're taking and they're writing it down on a piece of paper. So maybe Mike Bottoms' uh, influence is actually working, that they're going to uh, log everything and store it. So also, I guess they're going to, uh, the, the property there, you, 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 it's tagged, already tagged, documented. We, we know whose it is, we're going to save it. And that goes downtown? Um, yeah, we're going to try and find the person yeah. now first. Um, but if not, that's exactly where it's going. It'll be downtown and it'll book, be booked under their uh, their name. And you have 90 days to pick it up? Yeah, um, they have 90 days Yeah, to that's a great job, up. man. I'm glad you guys have a new policy now. Thank you, officer. Uh-huh. You're welcome.
like they're taking pictures of uh, the property of the homeless person that's not here and I guess most of it they're gonna tag it uh, and take it downtown hopefully it won't get stolen this time Councilman Mike Barlam is a big part of this he promised me there would be a new policy and uh, it looks like he's a man of his word My deal is like, you know, I realize they have to clean the boardwalk, go away the job, I realize that. But if there's something that's viable to the homeless person, try to make sure he gets it back. And as you can see, they're taking pictures and they're, they're gonna log most of the stuff and then throw away the, uh, the so-called junk. But I noticed they did give warning prior to coming with the dump trucks. They walked down the boardwalk and they were talking to the homeless to uh, move their uh, worldly belongings. I'm not against this program. I'm not against them cleaning the boardwalk. I'm not against, against them doing the way to obviously trash. You know, I get all that. You know, all I want is if a person is homeless and his property is uh, gold to him, he's not there. Photograph it, tag it, take it downtown, you have 90 days to get it, and then uh, make sure it's not stolen. They're still violating the Fourth Amendment illegal seizure but uh, you can't leave your stuff behind like that. I noticed this time they walked up the boardwalk without trucks and gave everybody warning that they were coming. So they are giving warning and they are now taking photographs of the property and putting it in the bags and hopefully it'll be downtown and it will be uh, properly taken care of and the person can get it back. So Mike Bottom, Councilman, uh, is a man of his word. They do have a new policy here. I'm gonna stay on top of it every Friday and keep these guys on. Yeah, I get this, this is good. All the stuff that's left behind is, this is garbage. So they're actually doing their job on this one. 